Appreciate it. What's up, Democrats? What's happening, y'all? Are y'all ready to paint this red state blue or what? Well, good evening. I'm Pastor Thomas Dixon, and I'm running for United States Senate. My opponent is the incumbent Republican Tim Scott, who on November the 8th will get up on that morning and realize he has no chance of winning, and he will concede defeat, and we will march on to victory and send a Democratic candidate, excuse me, a Democratic senator to Washington, D.C. for the next term. Tim Scott has got to go. Now, I don't know about y'all, but I'm kind of tired of living in this red state. Well, red state stands for that innocent blood of those who have been denied Medicaid because our governor and the Republican Party will not expand Medicaid. People are dying because of that. I'm tired because this state, the red of this state, represents hospitals that are closing, schools that are being defunded, funding that's being taken away from elderly benefits, and veterans that are not receiving their just due after serving their country. I'm tired of this red state where $7.25 is accepted because we have a Republican government. Tim Scott and his cronies who accept the fact that, or in their own minds, that $7.25 is enough for a person to live off of. People can't survive on $7.25 and deserve a living wage of $15 per hour. I am tired of a state that talks about it's a right to work state when the reality is it's a right to get fired state. And it's time for unionization in the state of South Carolina. Workers' rights, workers matter. I'm tired of a red state where Planned Parenthood is being defunded by Tim Scott and the Republican Party. Makes no sense. A party that tells a woman what she should do with her own body when she has the right to make whatever choices she wants with her body. I'm tired of this red state where people are dying in the streets because our Republican parties, because Tim Scott and his party will not close the Brady background check loopholes. The loopholes that put a gun in the hand of a man that walked in a church on Wednesday night, June 17th, 2015, and murdered nine churchgoers because he had a loophole that gave him that gun, a, a loophole that the, the Republicans, Tim Scott and his people, refused to shut down. <laughs> So every time that I see them standing in that place, every time that I see them anywhere near Mother Emanuel, I have a problem with that. Tim Scott and the Republican Party are not pro-life. They are pro-death. So it's about that time for us to say, enough is enough, people. I started out and stopped the violence with this flag. The red stands for the blood that's shed on the street. And it's enough, it's enough. But the new definition, my fellow Democrats, is that this red on this flag now stands for the state of South Carolina, a red state where the Democrats of this state will stand up together and say enough red is enough red, and we are taking back this state, and we are going to paint this red state blue, and we're not going to stop, and we're not going to quit until justice rolls down like the rivers of waters, and righteousness like a mighty stream, a mighty blue stream. God bless you all. God bless America. And please support Pastor Dixon for your sin. That's a sermon. You, you ladies and gentlemen heard a sermon there. Great going. Great going. We with you.